Hi, this is Tony Self uh, with a tech update. And this is actually something I talk about when I speak on the topic of AI. Now, a lot of people say AI is artificial intelligence. I like to say it's augmented intelligence. And one thing about uh, AI in general is something that um, it's untested, it's very fast, it's a fluid subject, and everyone is really excited and also fearful at the same time about what it can do and the implications you're gonna have with it um, especially in business. Now, one topic that comes up quite a bit, and I get this uh, this question, is you know, the, it seems like these uh, the AI is built upon works that are all copyrighted, and it's true. Uh, if you look at uh, different types of engines, what they need and require is data. Uh, these large language models, or they're called LLMs. You have uh, the top ones, or Open um, uh, Open AI's uh, ChatGPT. You have uh, Anthropic, Claude, uh, our friends at Meta have the uh, Llama, and then you have uh, through X, uh, Grok. They take all this data, all this content, basically written by mankind, and it's in these huge databases. So then you're able to kind of put in there like a instant uh, Google and search for everything. Oh, also our friends at Google as well, they have their Gemini. Um, so they're, they're, these are the engines that are there. Now the question is, is that, so, it's is copyrighted, especially on pictures, because it's generated. Uh, it's using uh, images that are protected to generate generate that. So, um, as a business, if you're going to be selling any tools using AI material, you want to make sure that you talk to your attorney, and your attorney can review to make sure you have the licensing, the proper licensing for these pieces of work. So, um, if it's like image-wise, if you use images, uh, some of these images will be licensed. But you want to make sure the licensing is in there, and that's why the attorney is there to make sure you're all good. I, I am aware for videos, uh, Adobe's Firefly, uh, they're built upon their creative. However, I've also seen other videos that say it's also based upon other materials that are not um, copyright, but they will indemnify you, and they that's part of their package when you pay for the Adobe Firefly that they'll um, they guarantee that you can use this commercially. Now the other uh, the other topics, um, it's in court. It's uh, they're fighting it. A lot of people are fighting right now. I know Getty Museum. Uh, they have a court case right now about their pictures being used to do AI because AI is all across. I mean, it's songs, uh, software, uh, in fact, books, um, everything. So my humble opinion is just uh, as a government has protected uh, social media. Because you have Section 230 that protected them, I believe that's the correct one. Um, they don't have the same restrictions that a newspaper does, where the, they are required to make sure everything that's printed, uh, you know, it's like when someone posts something through, through these platforms, primarily for the reason they wanted not to stifle uh, the, the the development uh, of social media. <laughs> that's good or bad, but that was the decision. My humble opinion, again, I'm not an attorney, is that based upon what I saw with social media, I believe uh, they're going to the government's going to turn their face on it, a blind eye, and not enforce it and give them some type of pass because they want to make sure that this AI is still growing and thriving in the United States. If you look worldwide, I'm not aware of any like great AI. I'm looking. I'm assuming it's there. Uh, I'm, I'm possibly in China. I'm not sure, um, but most of the things I see there is are social driven. All the AI stuff seems to be in here in the United States. So that's my humble opinion on this subject. Uh, this comes up quite a bit. I have uh, a little bit piece also too about the ethics and how we're going to deal with those that unfortunately are displaced by this. Um, some people are able to use this and excel, but then there's going to be a few that we're going to have to figure out how to help them. Uh, all big questions. and. Um, there is not enough time, nor no one really knows the full implications of that before to get this going. So I just want to bring up one question I typically get uh, when I speak about this subject on artificial intelligence with uh, the different audiences. This is uh, Tony Self, Tech Tony, signing off and hope you enjoyed and look forward to seeing you very soon. Take care. Bye-bye.